Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of my vlog Catch 22 with Adeola. I am so happy to be back here today. So for my Catch 22 family, thank you guys for checking up on me and asking me why I have not been posting. A map been no sorry. I'm so sorry. I guess everybody face their face of Catch 22 and your girl are to face as too. But notwithstanding, thank you for standing by me. I am very, very grateful for my new family members that are just catching up with me here today. You are welcome. Oh, my new OG. I am saying very thank you to you guys. God bless you. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, please and please, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out every episode of my vlog. In order to give you guys a grand welcome back, I am doing a movie review today, and it's one of those movies that I has actually kept me going. I could have at all, but um and Zion so if you guys have been here beginning of this year we reviewed our goals together and one of my goals is that i am going to be trying my possible best to make sure that it's only good content that i'm aligning in here positive vibes only well there have been some negative vibes at some point but we thank god they are still standing <laughs> so today i'm going to be giving you a very dope um you know, review of that movie. So sit back and let's enjoy this. This is Catch 22 with Adiola Alba. Before we jump into the review, I am not hungry that these episodes, you know, I haven't posted um, any video here for the past four weeks. That's one, two, three, four weeks, which means there are four episodes that have been here because I already thought I was going to review this movie with you. And I am not hungry. I forgive Dami for waiting till past five before he posted the new episode for um last week sunday like i almost gave some of us a potential there is god but notwithstanding i forgive him we have no choice we have to wait we are not want to enjoy the movie so we have to wait <laughs> so, so guys let's jump into the movie review i'll be jump i'll be um dividing this movie review, review into three parts the first part i'll be telling you a little bit about the movie if you think i'm here to give you some spoilers oh duh go to them on my family youtube channel i'll check it out so that we can feel the same way together <laughs> and so that i can just me because me too i want your perspective now nah, there's no spoiler anywhere here then the second thing is i'm going to tell you telling you what i love about the movie and the last thing is what i think they didn't do well in the movie like those things that i think that they would have they should have done better my perspective though so let's jump right into the movie abateur abateur was written and produced by Dam Lola, Mike Bamiloye and he featured um cast such as Kyle Day, Owo Jury, um Goodness mostly it's Kyle Day Array and my favorite cast Kyle Day Babalo <laughs> let me not go into all the oh, blah, 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 blah. So what is the movie about? The movie is about a man, a politician or politician who is on his journey, like the quest for power. Like this man, eh? one level of power is not enough for him. He's always looking for another level, like, oh, give me more, give me more, I want more. Like that's the kind of person he is. So he was, he, he's just on his journey to the quest for power and he has a lot of problems, family problems to be precise. And I still don't understand. Why this man is always still taking advice from that is friend. This man gives you a lot of nonsense advice, but let's not go to that one. So <laughs> this this movie is actually like a very dope one and I love the way it was, you know, written and how they brought the, the, the cast together and you know kudos kudos to Dami. Seriously, that that's a great one. So let's jump into what what I like about the movie. The first thing is that those people that did the movie, they brought their A game. <laughs> Let me start from Batsy. The house boy that was, you know, um, lied against. I, the guy really tried. You know, got to a point, I almost felt for him like it was real. Making Batsy the first person on that scene, or like for that movie, is just the right thing to do. It's, it's the best thing to do. We make you gets glued to your chair as for me people like me that like stay inside their bedroom to your bed till you are done seeing the movie you get like that's just the right decision like that made the right decision making Bassett to be on the first scene of that movie and i really really enjoy the fact everybody brought their a game like you know you see some christian movies and you're like what is happening what are they doing or what are they doing but 
but not Abachel. Like seriously, they brought their A games. Goodness, goodness is. Let me do a shout out because goodness is my sister's best cast. I'm still like, ah, goodness, that boy tried. Ah, that young Martins tried. Yes, young Martins really tried. Ah, and that. Oh my God, higher day old joy. Seriously. If I could just reach out to that my phone or sometimes I'm watching my sister like daddy Daddy, I'm enjoying you. Oh daddy. Oh, oh Jesus. And that is friend the inspector general. Ah <laughs> Father Seriously, it is it's it is just all in love that seriously for a Christian movie a Nigerian Christian movie, please this is like a thumbs up Mm, it thumbs up. So let's go to the second thing is I love the fact that it was so real. You know, for a Monzaian movie, you expect all the ah, uh, falling, falling, falling. <laughs> Don't mind me. This one saying that is that even if there's supposed to be an alternative, they used a very sensible one to make it, you know, to make everybody to be able to to relate with it. I imagined when there was a club part, and you know, the guy that was giving them the drugs was on dreadlocks. I'm like. Mandarian movie. <laughs> I was so happy. Like seriously, this is this is awesome. This is awesome. And you know the way they portray the movie and the way they, they brought the, the characters together to really make it look real. And like I said the other time, there's going to be an alternative. It was a very um, sensible one. Not one abstract thing that they just bring so that you know so that just we say, oh you know we are Christian movies. No, no, no. About all is on point when it comes to this part. It was so to the next part. The next thing I like in the movie it was their sense of humor. <laughs> From um the Yahoo guy that wanted to, you know, do some 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 this thing from Baba and wanted to have some charm get some charm from Baba and they asked him to stay on the on the laptop and you know hang one of his leg to the forty-third, it wasn't only really forty-third, forty-third is like a, a higher level of frustrated. To the forty-third Damilola part and so the part where the IG and you know Chief Drosaya was having their their conversation, the abaphobic part to the social part, seriously, the this thing was so on point. They are, they brought the sense of humor, humor. So you can sit down and get glued to your chair and you will seriously enjoy the movie from the beginning to the end, like because you won't even get bored at some point. You won't get somebody at some point. They had a part, you know, where they were dishing out the information and a part where you could just calm your nerves and just enjoy the movie. You get so number four thing I like about the movie was the transition between the past and the present. It was so dope. You don't need any filmmaker or one genius to sit in there and start saying, ah, oh understand, you know, I'm seven, yes, and this is now twenty twenty. Mm -mm 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 you will sit down and you will calm your nerves and you know there's no coding there's no computer programming this thing this thing is just so easy sit down enjoy get blessed and you know the, the transition between the past and present the young martins and the old martins was was on point like that me awesome like awesome <laughs> so let's get to the second part what do i what do i think they should have done better in the movie number one thing i have a lot, lot of problems with brahma martins Brahmatins. <laughs> Brahmatins come, let's talk. First of all, Za, Baba Guru is coming to your house. You ask him, Baba Guru, how did you find my house? Mm -mm, disappeared. I will, I don't even understand. They're asking him how you find your house. And knowing that the place is far. If he doesn't know your house, he didn't call you that he was coming. Then how did he get there? I don't understand. Like, how did he get there? Should, I don't think that question is necessary. Should have said this place is far and all. And Baba Guru gave the right, right answer that with you, this task is not a barrier. But the fact that Dami just asked that question was just off it. Like, the question won't be answer. So, I think I should break, make the difference between Martins and, and Dami. Like, Martins asked the question. Check it. So, the next thing that I think they should have done better is, uh, uh, Za. Excuse me, Za. Please, we are tired of the Abejoye box. Carry us out of the box. Carry us out of the box. Carry us out of the Abejoye box. The fire from the spiritual and physical thing is for how we be one in those dead thing. Why will you allow us to remember that part again? Za, I, I, I understand that this thing is a spiritual kind of stuff. You get it. But there are other ways in which God is to fight for his people too. Why must he always be the fire from the spiritual and physical? Maybe I saw that thing. The thing that came to my mind was I will be one in those. I'm like, Za, please carry us out of this box. Next one, next time, please. Let's do another way. Let's die fast to fight. Thank you very much. Yeah. 
God bless you for um, putting that into consideration. So the next thing that I think should have been done better is <laughs> it's the grammar things, so. sir. Excuse me, sir. I think there should be a different way which would have portrayed the rift between Baba Benro and Martins. They don't the guy a child with somebody. Guys, please, for people that have not seen the movie, for people have seen it, they don't the child with somebody for 15 years. Hmm? They don't give them money. They don't the child. Okay, if you are the one, put yourself back by your shoe. Just come for one way. They I want to give you a child because they are a pastor. We need godly, godly um, image in his life. They just dump it for you. And you know that this person is a government child. Hmm? And they don't give you anything. Uh uh now. There should have been a better way, seriously. To me, I think that this child has, has gone to school, fed, or wash up, was wearing clothes when he was with them. Did a lot of all these things that is money. Should you guys know? Now they call it tactic and that means angry. And they're like, you send me for tactic. Mm-mm, seriously. Tactic is very small. Even if they give them to what up to the cake, because they are worthy, one million, even more. Don't be shy with me. Uh, uh, nah. I know it's God's work. See, I understand seriously, but I don't think I think there should just be a better way in which they, really, they should have related that story. Like, and we know that that IG man is a manipulator. It's better if they have used that IG man to manipulate that man into something else. Well, don't let me jump to conclusion. There are still more episodes, but the fact that you use that film to excuse the drift damage from Baba Gbero is not a good one. Seriously, I think there should have been a better way to tell the story. So let me stop here. Well, guys, everything I said in this movie, in this review is just my perspective of the movie. So I want you guys to give me your perspective. So if you've not seen that movie, hell don't to Damn Lola, my Bam Lola YouTube channel, and check out the movie. Seriously, you will be blessed. And come back here and give me your perspective. Let us just drop in the comment section what you think. Till we meet next week. Always remember that life is your catch and so you can't fight nor resist it. The only way to fight it is to accept it. So speak your truth as the truth can help anyone out there. This is your favorite girl, Ade or Latinx.